Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be continuing on with my mini admin certification course. Today we're going to be going over user details, kind of the similar thing to user settings. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into it. So I am in my Salesforce org. I'm going to go to quick find and set up and search users. I'm going to click on users down here, not the little carrot one, but the other one. All right, and let's go ahead and find someone. I'm actually gonna go under my own name. All right, this brings us to our user detail page. Here we have a bunch of different settings. I'm gonna click edit, because it's a little bit nicer to see this way. All right, so over here you have your little general information right over here. Now this is a lot to handle. Let's go ahead and take it step by step. Anything marked in red is required. So let's see, we've got our name, our first name, our last name, alias, email, username, and my nickname. So now I believe our username cannot be, it cannot be identical to another username. So that's important to know for the test. So we do have an option for our title, company, department, division, and that's just kind of our general information here. Now, these next three ones are relating to a lot of security. So you have your role, and this comes from a drop-down menu. You have your user license, which usually should be also a drop-down as well as profile, but because I'm a sysadmin um, and I created the org, it shows that these are not editable. So I will have one of our two Salesforce licenses within a developer org, and I will be sysadmin. I'm also active, which means that I can log in, I can do things in Salesforce. Um, this should look blue if you're in another organization besides a developer org. Um, but if you're like in professional or enterprise, then this should be a checkbox that you can check and uncheck. So now these over here, these are all different feature licenses. These do cost more than a regular license, but it enables us to use Marketing Cloud, um, use Salesforce offline, you be a knowledge user, etc. cetera. Um, down here are more different capabilities. So you can see I am a mobile user um, and I do have quick access able to use the quick access menu. Down here is some more information about the different things within my company. I This enables me to use a call center, what my phone is, my extension, my fax number. Um, if I have an employee number, this can be used for different integrations. That's what I've seen it used for before. Also the start of the day and the end of the day. So down here, you can also use your mailing address, your federation ID. This is for single sign-on if your company uses that, which enables you, so you just log in once, then all the different applications that you use will be open to you. The different locale settings that I have, you can do this for other users. You can also do this for yourself and users will be able to change them for themselves as well. Now the approver settings, this is used for approval processes. I can have an approver and have my manager down here. I'm gonna click cancel and it'll take us back to my user detail page. You can see the last person who modified my user details and that was me and when I created my user details. Now down here, there's a lot of different settings. You have your permission set assignments, so this will show any permission sets that you've assigned to that user. You also have the activation ones, the license assignments, so different permission sets can have licenses depending on what they're, what kind of functionality you're using. Also any groups that I'm a part of, so you can have this be for like my manager and any of their subordinates, you can have this be in my personal group. You can show public group membership, queue membership. So say I'm a, I work on opportunities and I have a lead queue, then this will show which queues I'm a part of. 
There's also my team, my managers who are above me. Any apps that I've used, so you can see I have Trailhead, I have CLI, Salesforce Help, and Trailhead again. You can also look at my login history. You can see I've logged in a lot. I logged in a lot on the 28th and 29th of last month. You can download all of my login, where from, and all these different fields into a CSV file for the past six months. This can be really helpful in case you have a rule where your users are downgraded for licenses um, based on their activity. You can also see, okay, like, are they using this license? And it can help you make those kinds of financial decisions for your organization. And as far as user details and user setup, this is about it for this part. There are other parts like that we can go more in depth to, which is profiles and permission sets and groups, but those belong in a, a different video. So be sure to like and subscribe and drop down in the comments if you have any questions or video suggestions for me. I really appreciate that. And I will join you guys in the next